All right, the uh, big idea in this question, once again, is about concrete objects. We're gonna use concrete objects. In this case, they said specifically cubes uh, to show numbers that will combine to make seven. And they're gonna use a part, part, whole map to do so. And then we're gonna talk about how this will link to number bonds. All right, now, when I read this question, I did not know what a part, part, whole map was, but I could kind of uh, think about the words part, part, whole, Think about that we're using cubes and kind of figure out what's happening here. Let me show you. All right, so I don't have a part, part, whole mat, but I do have a cutting board. So I've got a cutting board and I've got seven cubes on the cutting board. So maybe we'll put some cubes over here, some over here, and those will combine to make seven. If you notice that there are three on one side, four on the other side, that shows that three and four combine to make seven. Or maybe put all of them except for one on the other side. So now we've got one by itself, and then we've got six others on the other side. So six and one combined to make seven. Maybe all of them go over here, except for two are on the other side. Okay, this shows that two on one side combined with five on the other side makes seven. All right, so even though I didn't have a part, part, whole mat, I do have that cutting board, and I could kind of see what's happening here. All right, so when I thought about this, not knowing what the uh, part, part, whole mat was, I thought of number bonds. And let me show you what I'm talking about there. Here we could take the whole number seven, that's the whole part, but we could break it down to two parts. And what, uh, what you always use in math is linkage. You link something that you've done before to something you're about to do. So if the students have had that experience with the concrete objects using the actual cubes, then they could take that experience and link it to something that doesn't use concrete objects, instead using uh, just their paper and pencil or a crayon and write, writing this down. So they could write the seven and they could break it down into what and what combined to make seven. So you could have them record what they've done on the number map. So on the number map, they might have put two cubes on one side and five on the other side. So the number bond shows that two and five combined to make seven. So doing it this way is a little bit more advanced than using the concrete objects. But that's what always will happen in math instruction is you'll have uh, a new skill. And then if you want to build upon that, you link the new knowledge or the new representation to what the students already are familiar with. So in this case, we would be linking these, uh, these number bonds to the experience of actually counting the physical cubes. And they could then see how many different ways could they build different number bonds. And they could go, oh, remember we had one cube on one side and six on the other side? So one and six is a number bond to get seven. And then they could try to get all the different number bonds they can. But again, that's just kind of talking about education in general and math, how it works, how you start with one concept and you link it to a more advanced concept. But for this specific question, we want to choose the one that talks about the pairs of numbers that combine to make seven. So if you said it's the pairs of numbers that combine to seven, that's the big idea, that's the topic that's happening here, and that's exactly what we're talking about. Good job.